Okay, so in this next video, we're going to create this uh, simple lotted title. So as usual, uh, we're going to use a text clip and also a solid clip and also apply two uh, effects and animate uh, both the solid clip and the text. So let's get started. Here in the project pin, right click and at the title, type in your text, align the text to the center. And if you want to change the font, you can do that. The color, you can do that. And let's uh, click the create title to create our title. The next thing is to add the solid color clip. So right click at color clip. You can change the color from here if you want to. For now, let's just leave it as yellow. Then click OK. Let's drag this to video track one. OK, so let's place the color clip on video track one and the text on video track two. So this is how it's going to look like. And then go to the effects panel. Let's apply the crop by padding to the solid clip. So select this solid clip. Uh, you can type two sets in here. I have saved this to my favorites here. So I just go straight. It's under the transform, distort, and perspective. So just go straight here and apply to the solid color clip. And as you saw uh, from here, you can uh, hold on to any of this angle and just uh, crop down the color clip here and hold on to this little X, right? The circle X there, grab there and place it uh, where your text is. So that's how it's gonna look like now. Next, let's animate the uh, color clip. So place the playhead again, as you saw in the beginning, come to the W, click and drag to crop out the color clip, something like that. And then from the X, uh, drag to hide the color clip somewhere here. Now let's move in 10 frames. You can click here to move in 10 frames or simply you can just type in 10 from here and add a keyframe and then move select to a tree frame Add another keyframe. And then from the X, let's bring back our text right in there like that. And then move up like to a tree frame Add another keyframe. And then from the W, let's scroll back the color clip. So here's the intro for the solid color clip. And let's now animate the text. Select the text. Again, go to the effects. So all video effects and under uh, transform distort perspective, look for rotate. So here in the rotate, we're going to apply that to the text. Now you have the rotate by X, Y, rotate Z, offset X and offset Y. So what happens is if we rotate by X, it's rotate, rotate by Y, you can see it's just rotate around and then rotate by Z, you can see it's rotate by Z and then offset, you can see we just offset the text from, from the X, so it's running from here all the way to that side or that side to that side, you can just go slowly so you can see and offset by Y, let's just go slowly so you can see that so now let's animate it. So we can use the offset by X. So first let's select the text clip, add a keyframe. So from the X, let's just click to hide our text, something like that. And then add a keyframe, move to three or four frame like that, add another keyframe and simply change this value to zero. And then let's uh, do the outro as you saw at the keyframe and then move up two or three frame or even five frame at another keyframe and then in the X again, just click and move and you hide the text. Now move another two or three frame, select the solid at the keyframe, move another two or three frame at another keyframe again. And then this time from the W, let's crop in move up like that at another keyframe and then in the X let's hide our little line there okay so this is the final result so you can see that our animation is not steady something like that which is not what we want so all you have to do is simply select each of this keyframe and change the keyframe interpolation uh, to linear because by default it is at smooth so let's change all of this to linear do the same for the text 
Okay, so we have changed all of them to linear keyframe interpolation. So now is the final result. Okay, so if you want to use this in a project, you can always uh, create a nesting sequence. So to do that, uh, shift and uh, click and do a rubber select. You do a right click and then you can see create sequence from selection. Now you can click OK and go to the project bin and you can see our sequence is here. Click and drag it down again. So this is the sequence. So as you show, you can always place a video right underneath there. There you go. Enjoy. And if you have not subscribed, please do that. It will help us to continue creating more videos. Thank you for watching.